You're, You're watching Discovery, Discovery. Middle School News. What's up, Venus? I'm Kim and I'm Kiara. So, you ready for high school? Yeah. <laughs> you know, why not? Cause older kids scare me. They're all in shape and whatnot. <laughs> well, let's go see what other kids people high school years are. The shot clock is running out for DMS 8th graders. Let's go see what some students feel about high school next year. How do you feel about high school next year? Um, I'm excited to get out of middle school. Why? Uh, because high school is bigger and there's more people and it's just kind of like more steps to what you're going to do in your life. What class are you going to take next year? Uh, probably just like the basic four and then um, I don't really know what I want to get into, but probably just like a lot of PE classes. Okay. What is your feeling about high school action? Um, I'm nervous yet excited because I get to move on and become my own person. Okay. Uh, what classes are you thinking about taking? Probably drama and Spanish and industrial tech, other classes like that. What, is, what are your feelings about high school? Yeah, I think it's going to be fun for our sports and neat meeting uh, new people, old people. Um, what classes are you gonna take? Uh, I gotta take Spanish again next year. Uh, and I really don't know all my classes yet, but I know one of them be Spanish, so I get done with it. Okay. What are your feelings about high school? I'm nervous, and I don't really want to go to high school. Why? Because it's really big and it's hard. What classes do you think you want to take? Spanish and child development. What are your feelings about high school? I think it'll be fun, but I think it'll also be different. What classes are you going to take? I um, plan to take weight training, French, and then do all my basic classes I get to move forward. Alright. What are your feelings about high school? I'm excited to be with all of the upperclassmen, but I'm scared because they're like harder stuff for learning, and there's like no retakes, and so like if I feel something, I'm just going to feel it, and I can't do anything about it. Um, what classes are you going to take? I want to take childhood development, and those are the ones with those babies that are like robots. <laughs> Is that it? Thanks for watching, DMS. Super Bowl 49 will take place at University of Phoenix Stadium and will feature the Seattle Seahawks against the New England Patriots. The New England offense is powered by the lethal Tom Brady and Rob Gronkowski duo. Their new and improved defense is led by standout corner Darrell Revis. Seattle's defense is led by Richard Sherman, Earl Thomas, and Cam Chancellor, otherwise known as the Legion of Boom. Seattle's offense feeds off of power running behind Marshawn Lynch and quick thinking by Russell Wilson. I'm doing so I'm here with Carson Gramsis, and we're going to ask him who he thinks is going to win the Super Bowl. The Patriots. And why is that? Because Tom Brady has a good arm. <laughs> he is playing pretty good this season, isn't he? Yep, and ever since the Pats lost to the Chiefs, or got crushed by the Chiefs, they've been slaughtered. playing, or slaughtered, they've Killed been playing perfect. Demolished. <laughs> You're right, they have been. Well, not perfect, but good. Um, I think the Seahawks are going to win. And why is that? Because they got Russell Wilson and Marshawn Lynch, the dynamic duo. What about their defense? You know, they're playing pretty good. Lately. Oh, yeah, Richard Sherman, he is the best. <laughs> no, Earl Thomas is. I don't know who that is. <laughs> uh, okay. okay. I'm here with Joe Charette, and we're going to ask him who he thinks is going to win the Super Bowl. Um, I think the Seattle Seahawks are going to win the Super Bowl. Hashtag repeat. Oh yeah, and why is that? Um, Russell Wilson is 23 at, and 2 at home in beast mode. Well, what if they don't play at home? They play at home. Not in the Super Bowl. Don't matter. Beast mode. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations to the New England Patriots for winning the Super Bowl. This is Ben Riggs and Dominic Mesh reporting for Discovery Middle School. So how about those cheerleaders? You talking about Miss Clever? No, 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 not her. We're talking about the DMS cheerleaders. Oh, them. Yeah. Let's find out what they do. Yeah. yeah. Hey, 
Olivia, why did you try out for school cheer? Because I wanted to be a part of a sport that had to do with school. What is your favorite thing about school cheer? Working together as a team and getting to know other people. Okay, what exactly is a stunt? Okay, so a stunt is, it's hard to explain, like when you lift people up in the air and there's different kinds of stunts. Okay, um, what is your job with a stunt? Um, I'm usually a back spot or a base, which a base is when you hold the people up and a back spot is when you're in the back. Okay, why did you drop for school cheer? Because I quit dance recently and I wanted to just uh, try something new. Okay, is there anything else you do besides stunt? Well, we cheer on the basketball players, we cheer on the football players. Miss McLean, why did you decide to coach school cheer? Um, I decided to coach cheer because whenever I was in high school, I was involved in cheer and I also cheered in eighth grade. And so I just wanted to help kids get involved and I wanted to be more involved at DMS. Okay. What is your favorite thing about coaching school cheer? Um, probably getting to go to the basketball games. Um, not that I don't like football. But the basketball games, they get really intense, and it's usually a pretty close game, so it's a lot of fun to watch. Okay. What are things you look for when girls try out for school cheer? Um, we look for a few different things. One thing is, obviously, you have to know the cheers that we teach, um, the fight song, and um, obviously you have to smile the whole time and show spirit and just a good attitude. Um, we really want to have a good reflection of our cheerleaders at the school, and so we really want to choose people who are involved in the school and have that um, that positive attitude in the inside of cheerleading. Okay, and do you have any tips for girls wanting to try out for school cheer next year? Um, I would just keep practicing, practice cheers, go to games, watch the cheerleaders, see um, what kind of things that they do, practice jumps, and um, really just be a good person in the school and it, it'll help you. Okay, thank you. Coach any sports outside of school, and what made you want to coach them? Um, I do. I co currently coach. Uh, I'm the assistant varsity coach for the men or boys soccer team uh, for Liberty, and I also coach two younger youth teams um, for KC Milan. So they're U9, um, so they'd be under nine teams. And I've always loved coaching. Um, I love the sport of soccer, so it was an easy decision. What's your favorite team for soccer? Sporting Kansas City. Do you like teaching here? I do. I really enjoy the staff and the students. <laughs> students <are really>. <laughs> <laughs> Easy decision for me. <laughs> and you're laughing. Thank you for watching. This was brought to you by Maddie DeVolk, the camera person, and Nikki Benhart, the interviewer. Have a good weekend. Starting with the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge that raised $100.9 million in just 30 days. Robin Williams' death was also in 2014, and he was in movies such as Aladdin, Night at the Museum, and Mrs. Doubtfire. The Ebola outbreak happened, and around 8,700 people died from the outbreak of disease in South Africa. 50 million downloaded the popular game Flappy Bird. Kim and Kanye got married in Florence, Italy. The Royals were in the World Series for the first time in 29 years. 
Derek Jeter retired after 19 years in the MLB. The song Fancy sold 4,600,000 copies by January 2015. All About That Bass had 60,000 copies by August 9th. And 623,000 downloaded Shake It Off in the first week. Also, Chipotle is more known because of the popular vine. $140,800,000 in box office sales for the movie Maze Runner and $288,000,000 in box office sales for the movie Divergent. This was brought to you by Kate Schmidt and Preston. The Ballon d'Or is the award given to the best soccer player in the world for that year. It was given out on Monday, January 12, 2015 for the 2014 year. This year's nominees were Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, and Manuel Neuer. Neuer was the first ever goalkeeper in contention of the award. Out of these three, Messi has already won four Ballon d'Ors and Ronaldo with two. Today we are going out to ask people who they thought should have won the award and why. Who do you think should have won the Ballon d'Or award and why? I think Messi should because the guy is a living legend. He's amazing. Who do you think should have won the Ballon d'Or and why? Well, Cristiano Ronaldo. Why? Because he pulled up as the number one soccer player in my Google results. Who do you think should have won the Ballon d'Or and why? Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. Why? Because he's good and I've seen some of his goals and he's good. Uh, who do you think should have won the Ballon d'Or and why? Uh, Ronaldo. Why? Because he's got some nice hair. Who do you think should have won the Ballon d'Or and why? I think Messi. Why? Because he's very good at soccer and he can kick really, really hard. Who do you think should have won the Ballon d'Or and why? I think Manuel Neuer should have won uh, because he's the best goalie to live or to ever live and he's almost like an attacker and a goalie in one. This year, Ronaldo won the Ballon d'Or. Who do you think should have won the Ballon d'Or? Ronaldo, Messi, or New York. This has been William and Sakif recording from Fifth Hour Broadcasting. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Well, that's it for this broadcast, EMS. See you on Tuesday. So, what are you doing for Valentine's Day? Oh, I'm going to the movies with my sister. Well, maybe.